we go, guys. Come on, let's do it. I'm going to donate do the whole goal right now. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, raising money for Samuel to go to Philly Brickfest with uh, David and Matt. Next one, uh, DM me on Discord because I don't think people can type in there. Really yeah, I'm working on a... Uh, setting up my sand crawler comparison for later this week. I gotta find the other figures though. It's Sunday night now. I got a couple of things done. I'm about to record a Ask Him in our productions. And then after that, I might record it after that or I might wait till tomorrow to record it. But my sand crawler comparison, I figured it's Sunday night. I have a whole week's worth of videos to get done and uh, I would get a head start for this week and feel good about it. And I think that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna feel good about the work I'm about to do. I also finally set up a new basketball hoop in here. Um, I bought that at Target a couple of vlogs ago, if you guys remember, I don't remember if I showed it in the vlog but um i think uh i think my cousin camden broke it last year in may and i never like bought a new one so i found one at target that was like six dollars and i was like all right i'm buying one so let's see if i can sink a shot shooting on this basket is like harder than you would think because like the roof is not that like ew, i just hit apocalypse work uh the roof is not that high in this room um like i can almost touch it you can see like i'm pretty close um in my old room it was like another foot higher so i would say the ceilings in this room are, like seven seven and a half feet and so I can't do a lot of arc on the ball, so it's really just like a flat shot, and yeah. Ah, sad. It's still fun to do, regardless, to have something to do in my room again. Other than do Lego videos and play video games, it's nice to have like a, a third thing to use all this empty space for. So it's Sunday night, and I'm on my old YouTube channel, which used to be called Ryan and JoJo. It's now just my name, and it's got a test for when I was changing my banner. I wanted to make sure it worked before I changed out my real channel. And uh, I'm starting to do sticky notes, so that's uh, for Monday. That's my to-do list for Monday, which will be tomorrow. So when I wake up after I've gone to the dentist, that is my to-do list. So that's a lot of fun stuff I want to do uh, this week, or at least tomorrow on Monday. So that's my, my work for Monday that I need to get done. So I just did film Ask Him on our production, so I just need to edit it now for Tuesday. Since tomorrow's Monday, we get done to edit, and then I can have it ready a day ahead, which will feel really good. But yeah, I was I was looking through my old channel, and uh, the reason for this is my 10-year anniversary on YouTube is this week. It's actually on Thursday. Uh, this channel, the original channel, was created on uh, February 14, 2009. Obviously, February 14, 2019 would be the 10-year anniversary. I don't usually do a lot of anniversary stuff, but but 10 years feels like it's it's important. And I'm going to go back and uh, look at a lot of this stuff, and uh, I'm going to make a video about this, and uh, you guys will probably have already seen it by the time you see this vlog, but this was this is where I started, and it's, it's really starting to hit the feels. I think it's going to hit me in the feels more when I film a video tomorrow, but man, it's it's crazy to just look back, and it feels like a lot of this stuff was, you know, just yesterday or just last year, and man, uh, it's uh, really kind of hits home to look back at a lot of this stuff, but I'm excited to take a look back and uh, see what uh, what you guys think about it as my 10-year anniversary video. Maybe I'll do a little something extra special with it too, but as far as the 10-year anniversary video goes, I just kind of want to take a look back and kind of show you guys where I came from for those of you who are newer to my channel and channels. Can we get an F in the chat for Toys R Us? God, it's been so long. Toys R Us is gone. So I left the dentist, went to Chick-fil-A, nothing wrong with the dentist. I was only there for like three minutes. I just wanted to check something that I thought was weird, but apparently it wasn't. So it's all good. I got some chicken minis and I'm excited to eat these. I was going to go to, to uh, Burger King again and get more uh, French toast sticks like I got last week, but I decided I wanted some, some uh, chicken with some bread on it and it was going to be delicious and it's going to be delicious and look at all them cars. Woo wee doggy. So I'm mostly done with my to-do list for today, which feels really good. I edited Ask m &R Productions. I started my outline for my m and rants, which is probably not going to come out to next week because I'm doing a different video this week on Thursday or Friday. I don't remember which day it is. Um, I filmed my 10-year anniversary video. I contacted this week's Bricks and Bits guest. I'm about to film the Sandcrawler video. And the only other thing, or I think that's it. I think that's what, I think the only thing I have left to do today is film the sand crawler video and then I'll be happy and I can play video games and go to the gym. It's going to feel good. So I'm like starting this like new schedule where I try to work like work on YouTube from like 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then just kind of do whatever with the rest of the day instead of just kind of splattering it out and doing it randomly and like doing it last minute. Uh, I think doing this is going to be a lot better. So I'm going to keep trying this out and uh, we'll see what happens. That would have been so cool. So we've just had a pretty sudden change of plans because I have a box. So all of the, I'm trying to pull this. Ugh. I was getting ready to film my uh, sand crawler video, but I think that's, oh, that is bright. <laughs> I think it's got to wait a minute because I have a box from Target and all the sand crawlers are now on the ground. So yeah, you guys might know what's in this box. You're about to find out. Let's open it. 
that is the four brick heads right there to be adding to my collection. That'll go with the others that I have up here. I have a Lucy and an Emmett keeping sealed, and then I have a Lucy and an Emmett that I've already opened. So I'll do the same with those there after I remove those stickers. So if you can't tell by the uh, sunrise, I'm up early again. Can you guys believe it? I haven't been up, you know, it's 7 a.m. I've probably been up since 4.30 because I couldn't fall back asleep, but I went to bed early so that I could get up early, which is nice. But we're on our way to Burger King to get some breakfast again. And oh my God, it just feels good to be awake in the morning. It's been a long time. And when I say long time, it's been months since I've been up this early on any type of consistent basis. So it feels good. I'm excited to get to work today on some YouTube videos. I did this thing yesterday where I wrote down a to-do list and I did my work from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I'm gonna do the same thing today. Probably it's gonna be like 8 a.m. though to 2 p.m. instead. So for my six hour shift, if you will. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to schedule myself a little bit better, uh, work, work hard early in the week and then take like three days off, four days off on the weekend. So that's my plan. We're gonna see how that goes as the week goes on. Right now it's an absolutely beautiful day out. It is 9 a.m. I thought the Flintstones reveal was gonna be coming, but it hasn't come out yet. I got speed builds going on this computer. I'm working on the comparison on this computer. It is a beautiful sunny day outside right now. However, very soon it's gonna get pretty nasty and start raining. So you'll see that blue sky turn gray here very soon, which will be kind of cool. But yeah, working on the sand crawlers. So I've made four videos today. I made my 10 year anniversary video, or at least I edited it. I also edited the sand crawler video. I just edited this cruise ship review and I edited my review of the the uh, new brickheads that I just got today as well, or yesterday I got them. But yeah, that's a lot of videos in one day. And I'm gonna make one more video after this. I gotta make MNR news after I play this Call of Duty Blackout tournament with you know why live on twitch.tv slash MNR games. And at long last, there is the rain and the clouds that I had promised you. And unfortunately now I can't really film MNR news because it's raining and that's kind of too loud for me to, to be filming with this mic. So we're gonna have to wait for that, but I can work on other stuff while we're doing nothing else. So I just woke up and I do keep stuff like on the end of my bed when I sleep. And I guess I kicked some stuff off <laughs> last night while I was sleeping. You can see a lot of mini figures have ended up on the ground. Looks like nothing else is like broken. Yeah, looks like I knocked this over, but like nothing crazy happened. Just some, eh, some minifigures fell, and this continues to just fall every night. So I'm just gonna leave it there. And we'll just pick these up. So for the last like four and a half hours, I worked on MNR News, which is crazy to me. That's how long it takes me to make it. I did it all in like one sitting. I sat down, I recorded it, I edited it, I uploaded it, I did the tags, I did the title, I did the description, I did the thumbnail. It took me about four and a half hours, which is nuts to me. So that's a good idea of how long it takes to make a video like that. That's probably the longest it takes me to make a video. I, I couldn't imagine any other series I do takes me longer than four and a half hours to make a video. That's gotta be the longest, but I'm gonna start paying a little bit more attention to that because I just found that interesting and I wanted to, uh, I wanna keep, I wanna keep track of that a little bit more. It's probably something I need to know is how much time I put into, uh, to YouTube. Just got back from the gym and it looks like I have mail. We'll go around and get it. Anyway, I figured I'd buy a Lego Movie 2 replacement sticker roll for the uh, Sistar Starship. I just, I don't know, I figured I needed one just because, you never know, if I actually do end up using that sticker sheet or for whatever reason, I want an extra, I have an extra, and it even shows you how to put it in in the back there, so. It was only three bucks, so I threw it in one of my target orders and they shipped it completely separately. It probably cost them more to ship it than the actual product itself costs, which is crazy. But so there we go. This is the brand new Finch Dallow Edition Resistance Bomber. Looks like the box needs a little bit of cleaning, but other than that i now have finch dallow which is awesome all right it's thursday uh, i'm going to mcdonald's to get some breakfast just a nice another early morning feels good to be out early again i don't know how to explain it i just waking up early feels good man cool air nice day damn all right we're streaming some black ops 4 with aimless terror oh my god looks professional look at this oh my god the laser it's like cheating got the chat lit over here what's up everybody i'm about to open this this box i have from ebay with some mini figures listening to the brick attack live late night radio show good way to wind down the night as i try to fall asleep before midnight here so i can wake up early and uh, get to work on more videos for the weekend talk about when i bought it why i liked it Ah, it's Friday morning, about 10 a.m. We're gonna make our choice for the day. 
Hidden, hidden, hidden. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's about 10 a.m. Time to get to work. Some new Jurassic World set pictures just came out, so I recorded my video on that. You guys can see these. They look very cool, of course, with the new Jurassic World TV show that's kind of coming back. They did a couple episodes last year, and now they're kind of finishing off the series or doing more of it, I guess. Looks very cool. These sets look awesome. I cannot wait to get them. They come out June 1st, and my video is going up on them uh, before this vlog comes out. <laughs> That's a good one, huh? <laughs> Corey hasn't seen it yet. I'm showing him the the scene we made. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan from Evanar Productions, and welcome to Jack. We're gonna throw this at Matthew. I'm Batman. We got him. Now I can be Emmett too. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. It's gonna mm -hmm. fit. I got my badge. So I finally got my Lego Forma set today. We ordered these a long, long time ago, probably back in like November, and they are finally here. These look really cool. So we got the skins, and we also have the actual fish in there as well. I'm gonna fiddle around with it, but so the back side here shows it. No, it does not. Pretty blank box on the back, but we are gonna build this uh, maybe tomorrow on Saturday or Sunday, and then it's gonna be Monday's video for my set review. Wow, you made one. I'm Batman. You missed. No. No. Oh, I want to save. So me and my brother and Corey are outside playing football and I told him I'd get my phone to uh, vlog some of it, but little does he know I'm only setting up the phone so I can pile drive him into the pool when they run a certain play. Just wait. <laughs> All right, so I just played Fortnite for like three hours. I played with uh, mostly with Brick Attack for like the first hour and a half, and then I played by myself with fans for the next hour or so, and then I just played with uh, Matt, aka the Brick Wiz, for a little bit. So Fortnite Friday, fun as always, and uh, that's probably gonna be it for this vlog. I don't really know what else I'm gonna be doing here. So thank you all for watching the vlog as well, and I'll see you guys next week. Eat, child. Eat. No, it's not a basketball. That is not a basketball. It's one food.